You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors. Got a vintage collection four pack review for you today. It is clone, uh, clone? Captain Enoch and Thrawn's Night Troopers. Uh, yeah, this is, these packs are starting to become available to us here in Australia, at least through uh, EB Games and Zing Pop Culture. So that's very, very welcome. Because, um, yeah, up until sort of the last couple of months, these really haven't been available to us. So we've kind of missed a lot, like the, uh, the Sand Trooper pack and some of the previous clone packs. I did recently get this pack, which I'll also review very, very soon. But yeah, this one is one that I've been looking forward to. Yeah, pretty simple packaging. Yeah, and the rest of it's just sort of covered in warnings. But yeah, we'll, um, we'll crack this one open and uh, and take a look at the figures as, as I open it. All right, folks, so normally I would have opened these off camera and um, just started showing the figures, but I thought, no, let's have some fun. Let's open it together. So you got my trusty little craft knife here. Just going to move that out of the way. Because, yeah, I got the uh, the clone set. And I showed at the start. Um, and, yeah, I've obviously already opened them. Um, and I haven't yet recorded the review for them, so I thought we'd just get straight into it. Now, I'll be the first to say that, um, you know, when this pack was announced, <clears throat> I was probably a little bit bummed that, like a lot of TVC fans, that Enoch wasn't going to get his own sort of carded release. I dare say he will in the future. Um, but given that these packs have been predominantly for army builders, it was a bit, a bit of a strange thing to sort of put him in there, as opposed to just doing a variety of, of the night troopers. Um... And again, like when I, like I said, when, when it was revealed, these packs weren't available in Australia, so I was a little bit, you know, bummed out that I was probably not going to be able to get a get a version of Enoch. But thankfully, we have. So yeah, as we open up the box, they all come in their individual little baggies. And it looks like the weapons are all sort of included with each figure. So I'm going to save Enoch till last, and we'll get a look at the... Uh, Get a look at the night troopers. So obviously using, you know, most of the uh, the sculpt or the stylized version of the uh, the most recent version of the stormtrooper, which is just, you know, why would you change it? Um, but yeah, they've obviously had their own little tweaks and stuff with the with the red bands, um, all the sort of the gold and the um, the grey, all sort of just just paint, which it's fine. It looks good. The sort of the red, the red wraps are all sort of individually sculpted, so that's great. Well, they look fantastic. And you know, you, you get a few of these packs and you mix and match and you can do some boil and pop and swap some legs and arms and and stuff like that and get them all looking like a little bit mismatched. So you got the blaster there. It's nice to sort of see these guys sort of get reanimated and, you know, <laughs> live to fight another day. Obviously, we found out that they're all, you know, just, they're all dead. They're sort of reanimated by Night Sister Magic. You know, they've all sort of, all their armor's sort of been pieced back together. You know, potentially after being, you know, destroyed, you know, in battle over the years. On Peridia there. You know, you wonder how many of these Ezra had actually taken out <laughs> during his time on the planet there. Or whether it was, you know, external forces, you know, that were able to battle with Thrawn's, Thrawn's um, fleet. 
and all his troopers. So it looks cool. I'm kind of giving him a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a zombie pose. Just make him look like that sort of just yeah, bit death trooperish. Like the old death trooper, not the new death trooper. <laughs> I'm talking about like the old zombie horror book. from about 15 years ago. Let's go look at the next one. So again, same blaster. Different effects. So just look at them side by side. So basically, I think what they've done is they've basically made one new Stormtrooper with the red wraps and then, you know, just sort of intermatch those sort of parts. I don't know that, that sort of torso, that sort of torso in the middle there, that's different. I don't know, we'll see. That was just my presumption there. Both those legs down the bottom are, are the same. Obviously all the paint detail differing between each of them which is cool but yeah I'm interested to take a look at the third one and sort of see how they've done it because I mean if they've only had to go and you know do a one single sculpt on a new trooper and then they can sort of you know mix and match with sort of regular stormtrooper parts like they seem to have done here that's kind of cool it's kind of very clever so let's get a look at this guy so maybe maybe they have done some sort of more individual elements to these figures just the way the, the torso is, you know, the ab ab part there is different to the other one. Ever so slightly, but that's cool. No, I was just watching um sci-fi's sort of overview of, of this pack. And uh yeah, I sort of thought oh, it's about time I opened this. I've had it sitting around for a few days now. Two, two night troopers. Let's twist his head around a little bit. Get him looking a little bit ominous. All right, let's take a look at the third of the night troopers. Yeah, they're quite expensive down here in Australia, so I'll probably be settling with the one pack. Sort of, sort of worked out. It's pretty much muchness for what the what the price is in the US. If you're getting them through Pulse, it's pretty much the same. 129 bucks here in Australia, which is sounds like a lot, and it kind of is. But <laughs> so yeah, again, let's let's line, sit the three next to each other and have a look at the similarities. So yeah, the the left and the middle have the same torso. The left and the right have the same shoulder. The left and the right have the same right forearm. Left for you watching. The left and right have the same right sort of shoulder. The left and the middle have the same left forearm so here's a fresh leg on that one and the same bottom part of the leg so yeah they've basically aside from the torsos on these two they've pretty much just sculpted one trooper new so you could effectively pull all these troopers apart and just have two sort of plain 
painted stormtroopers with it without any any of the wraps and then have one sort of fully wrapped one sort of partially wrapped so yeah great opportunity to sort of mix and match these ones let's take a look at this one in here sort of mostly sort of gray helmet can't remember the the name of the uh what the the japanese name for like the gold sort of etching to sort of fix the fix the the armor up like they did with uh kylo ren's helmet it'll come to me as soon as i stop recording <laughs> it's always always the way always finish recording uh, now i remember everything but yeah now these these guys look great I've got uh, kind of just sort of over there. If you can sort of see, there is Morgan Elspeth, sort of a Soka theme shelf. She's got her two HK droids. I am going to get another Thrawn. I'm going to get a placeholder to go on the Ahsoka shelf. The Thrawn that is out in the vintage collection now, he's sort of. Designated to my rebels, but I kind of want to get a placeholder just to go with uh, Morgan there until the sort of the show accurate Lars Mickelson one comes out, just to sort of stand with Morgan and and the night troopers here. All right, let's take a look at uh, Enoch. Now I have seen some um, Oh, he's got a different blaster That's cool I like that I like the gold detailing on it That's nice I've seen some people's copies Of this That have been absolutely awful You know, the, the gold of the face Has been sort of off to the side You know, he's got some sort of patched up armor too. I would love to know the origins of the sort of the face plate there, whether that's, you know, something Night Sister related or, you know, whether it was originally Imperial or something Chiss related. I'm, I'm interested to learn more about this guy and whether he is, you know, a living person under the helmet or whether he is also, you know, a, a knight. Trooper reanimated, sort of corpse trooper. But yeah, no, very nice sort of individual look to him with that with that helmet. Yeah, he's mostly mostly sort of stormtrooper. He has the sort of edges there of almost a shore trooper on the the sort of the cheek plates there. And yeah, the sort of the the face, which is very very intriguing. I like the, the sort of the undersuit is that sort of reddy maroon, as opposed to the black of the stormtroopers. Just helps give him a little bit more individuality. A little bit of extra plastic stuck in the hand there. There it goes. It just fell off. So the blaster will go in the holster. That looks good. You can just have him ready to be on command. Get the blaster in that hand. Yeah, for the most part, he is reusing parts from the Stormtrooper. Is, you know, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I love the uh, the added belt and the karma. Yeah, there's sort of you know, a little bit more gold to him. A little bit more sort of ornate and yeah, I don't know. I like him, but yeah, definitely eager for a 
For a good Thrawn, like a good, accurate live-action Thrawn, I think that would be super cool. I dare say there'll be one coming. The Black Series is getting one later in the year. I doubt TVC's too far away. I think their release of that Thrawn, the Rebels, the Rebels Thrawn, was simply, you know, they had it ready to go. And it was a case of, well, Thrawn's out in, in current media. Let's... Let's put him out, just so he's uh, sort of out at a similar time to the Ahsoka series. So again, sort of articulation with these ones are all the same, so I'll go through that. And so the, the sort of the ball joint in the head, you know, no removable helmets on these guys. Ball hinges in the shoulders, in the elbows, ball hinges in the wrists. In and out hinge on the left hand, up and down hinge on the right. Does have the torso joint there. This is the ball hinges in the hips. This is the swivels at the top of the thighs, ball hinges at the knees, ball hinges at the ankles, and the rockers in the feet. And that's the same for same for all of them. They're all using those same parts. Do a little bit of a peg test here using the uh, Kessel Run action figure stand. Three separate peg sizes. So these work for Black Series Vintage, even some of the daintier vintage sort of scale action figures that have those tiny little tiny little peg holes. And also the little pop-out tab there, which can then hook into there. So you can slide those slightly bigger feet underneath and give you a little bit more space, a little bit more balancing room. So I'm going to go with the sort of the medium sized peg, which we decided to put on each side. We figured that the, probably the little one was probably going to get the least use, but it was important to have different sizes there, having those sort of main two pegs on the side meant that they're going to have those sort of center of balance wide stances. So there we have Captain Enoch and Thrawn's Night Troopers. A really cool pack. Very grateful that this has been made available to us here in Australia. There have been quite a few that haven't been. So hopefully it's a sign of things to things to come. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please send and let me know what you think. Again, yeah, 129 bucks here in Australia, which works out to be about probably 80 to 90 US. So yeah, looking forward to setting these guys up over on my little Ahsoka section. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope you've enjoyed checking this out. We'll see you again very soon. Till then, may the force be with you always. <laughs>